Good morning and welcome to The Passionate Home. My name is Carrie. I'm Janine. And we are located in downtown Langley on the one-way strip of Fraser Highway. Um, we are here every morning live yeah. on Instagram to <laughs> give you ideas and to inspire you, to help you create a beautiful life. Right. So last week... Last week we did the chair of the fabric painting with the Annie Sloan chalk paint. Mm -hmm. um, you'll have to come and check it out. Yeah. yeah. If you didn't catch last week, we do save all the videos that we're doing every Friday at 9.30. We save them on Instagram, Facebook, and YouTube. And YouTube. Yeah. And our newsletter that comes up Tuesday morning. Yeah. Right. So if you had any questions on painting fabric, um, or if you've never seen it before, definitely tune into last week's video. Uh, it was a lot of fun. We had a lot of questions. So thank you everyone for sharing the photos of the things mm -hmm. that you have done. Right. Um, and every week we give away a prize. Something. Yeah. So last week, Denise, you were the winner. You shared a couple of pictures of some fabric painting that you did. Yes. So um, I know you'll be pretty excited to come in and pick out your color. She did two beautiful wing back mm -hmm. chairs in English yellow. So, so they fun. were beautiful. So I think actually we should share those pictures. Yeah, I so. think so. Yeah. Um, so this week we're going to do things a little bit differently. We have a guest. We're pretty excited. <laughs> <laughs> um, <laughs> So today we are going to introduce Lori to you. Lori is, Lori's been with The Passion at Home for a long time, kind of long on and yeah. off, and she is our home decor consultant. Mm -hmm. um, let's say something wonderful about Lori. <laughs> okay, you go. Oh my gosh, Lori is just a beautiful soul. You'll see she creates gorgeous displays and just makes everything beautiful. Little feathers and rocks and so pretty. <laughs> Actually, I was going to say that too. I thought if I had to describe Lori, she has such a gracious soul and she's a beautiful person. Yeah. And you guys are so lucky to um, be here today to see what she is going to create. She's going to step you through using some products, Annie Sloan chalk paint, iron orchid design products mm -hmm. to make something absolutely beautiful. Everything she touches turns beautiful. So I want to introduce you to Lori. And uh, oh, people Our are calling again. for her already. <laughs> and then as as we're going, as uh, Lori's going to step you through, if you have any questions, just please yeah, uh, let us know you're there. Type in your questions. If you're watching this later, leave questions. Uh, still type in questions, yeah, in right? Because we're going to get mm -hmm. back. Yeah. And then at the end of this little video, I think we'll probably be giving away one of her creations. So, Lori. Come on down. <laughs> I'm gonna make room for you. Okay. <laughs> I'm gonna move out. So let me give you this beautiful thing and yeah. um, I'll okay. get out of the way. <laughs> Hi everybody. I'm glad that you woke up early like I did this morning to, <laughs> <laughs> to come in. We're gonna be doing some IOD products. Um, there are three products that we carry in the store. We have, and we're gonna be using all of them today. There are stamps, there's IOD clay molds, and then there's also the transfers. They're all beautiful in their own way. Um, to show you some examples, um, these are stamps. Carrie has created this beautiful little spring plaque. So she's used two different stamps here. These products are beautiful to mix and match. Um, we have this here where we've just taken old books and removed the spine and stamped onto the books. Love it. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is transfers. So I've used two transfers here to create this beautiful market sign. Some floral and then layered in some wording. Oh, if we could just, yeah. yeah. Oh, there we go. Um, these products work, the um, oh transfers work beautifully on glass. So we've just taken this old window and added just a little bit of the beauty transfer. to it. Yeah. So pretty. And you know, a lot of people ask about creating a privacy on their glass. That you could would totally be beautiful. use a, a yeah. transfer. And then the last thing I wanted to show you was Incredible. this beautiful <laughs> green velvet chair. I removed the back off it and put it on burlap and attached it to the back. Amazing. <laughs> Does anybody else think that's amazing? That's amazing. Now, there are some things if you're putting it on fabric, you want to make sure that it's not soft and movable, that it is a harder surface. But that's that. And today I want to just get started on our little project because we don't have a lot of time. So we're going to be doing something like this. The colors I'm using today are cocoa, old ochre, and graphite. 
three colors, but we're gonna be using them all in different mixed ways. I've got them poured out in this little um, container here. So first off, I'm gonna take my plaque. When I'm painting, I'm starting with my old ochre. You need to really think this through. What's your base and work up from there. So when I'm painting this, I'm just really going every which way. I don't want a smooth finish on this. I want this to look old and time-worn. And you'll see later on through my project how I'm using all of these beautiful brush strokes because we're gonna be dry brushing paint into it. We're gonna be layering with waxes. A great thing to do when you're painting like this, let it dry a little bit and then pull your brush mm -hmm. through again. Mm -hmm. That's adding extra texture to it, which is absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. So that's what I've started with for that. It's old ochre first. So this is one. The magic of TV. Yeah, <laughs> done. <laughs> and I have my notes on the back. <laughs> so this is painted with old ochre. So now I want to add in the old look to it. So what I'm gonna do with that. How long did it take the paint to dry, Lori? It took about 15 minutes because I layered it on quite thickly. Uh, you could even force it dry a little bit with a hair dryer. Okay. So the next thing I'm gonna do is use a crackle stamp. This is a great way to add vintage into your piece. Wow. So what I'm gonna do is... So that's an iron orchid stamp? Yes. Okay. So I'm gonna scoop a little bit of my cocoa onto Annie Sloan's mixing, mixing match and a little bit of my old ochre. I wanna, I gotta That's a there. big chunk there. <laughs> <laughs> Real life, people. <laughs> so I wanna layer all my colors together. I don't want them to be mm, like a super high contrast. I want it to be old and beautiful and yummy. And when I'm mixing this together, I don't even need it to be um, fully mixed. If there's discolorations in it, that's even better. Mm -hmm. yeah. So when you're using paint and an IOD um, stamp, you need to use a brayer. That's gonna allow the um, paint to get on there nice and thinly mm -hmm. and it won't be blotchy. So you can also use ink on a stamp too, I'm gonna right? show you ink as oh, well right. on this. Yes. yes. Oh good, this is great. So, <laughs> <laughs> is so is everyone loving this? <coughs> this is gonna Everybody's be amazing. Yeah. Maggie loves the chair. Yeah. So I've just loaded up my roller or my brayer and I'm just putting a thin coat onto my stamp. Now why do you want it thin, Lori? If you don't have it on thin there, you're not going to get a crisp line and uh, it's not going to be as lovely. Right. Right. right? It'll mm -hmm. be a little messy. And the foam roller is just going to put it on way too thick. Oh yeah. 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 Maggie, so. all of these are available at the store for sure and online. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So I just lay it down where I want it and I press it down. I just need to load this up a little bit more. So with this one, it's not mattering so much um, that I get it on in the first stamp. If you're doing a stamp that is like a bird or something, you might want to do a test on a piece of paper first just mm. to make sure that you've got you know how much you're putting on and how much you need to put on. Right. So I'm just gonna lay this down again. Press it all down. this layering is just adding to it. Yeah. So oh, oh that's, that's amazing. Beautiful. I don't know if you guys can see that. I'm gonna lift it up so in a sec. beautiful. Oh, I love it. Right? <laughs> so I don't even need to put this crackle everywhere. No. Right? Because I want it to just be what it would randomly be mm -hmm. with crackle. How do you wash this after? You just soak in water? Nice, or? warm, soapy water. Okay. Yeah. Perfect. So next I'm going to be using Iron Orchid ink. Okay. This is stone color. It comes in a few different colors. We don't carry all of them, but if you ask for colors, I'll make sure we get them. <laughs> <laughs> because I like to use them too. Mm -hmm. <laughs> so this is stone, it comes in black, it comes in actually a chalkboard white, so you can stamp onto a chalkboard and then erase it and do something new. Oh, fun. Yeah. So I'm just <gasps> gonna stamp on here. 
I love that you're showing this because it's reverse almost than a stamp that you would usually yeah. have, right? Mm -hmm. Now look at what I've got here. I've got ink in this area that I don't want to land on my project. So what I'm gonna do is lay this, ooh. <laughs> Make sure your writing is the right way you want it to be. <laughs> <laughs> Just turn your board upside down. <laughs> so I'm gonna lay this down and rather than using my finger to press it down, because it'll press that ink that's in the wrong spot down mm -hmm. onto my project, use a hard surface. And then it's just making your raised image land onto your board. So this is another Iron Orchid stamp you're this using This is another now. Iron yeah, Orchid so stamp many to choose from. with ink. Yeah. So pretty. And you guys let me choose what I wanted to do. So yeah. these are my favorites, but there's lots of beautiful ones that are just absolutely stunning. Mm -hmm. Oh, so oh my good. goodness. I love how it layers. Yeah. So that is love that. It. So now you want to stick this aside and um, let that dry. Let it dry a little bit. I don't have the time to do that. So. <laughs> I lost my rag. Could you get me a rag? So all these products are online, right? Yeah. Passionhome.com. Yeah. And then you click shop. Yeah. And then click um, accessories, right? Is that yeah. where it's under? Um, shop. Yeah, accessories. And then there's a... And then iron on. orchid. Yeah. Yeah. Sorry, was that too <laughs> so I wanted to show you the... Um, oh, this is live TV. And I'm like, where did I put that? So this is how um, they come. Would you look at I had a roll that I opened up that was an IOD transfer. Hmm. It is right there at Carrie's. <laughs> yeah, because yeah, a lot of people ask what they what look, like. look like once yeah. you open it. Mm -hmm. So I'm just going to open this one up quickly. You're opening a new one? We had one open already. <laughs> Calm down. This is mine. <laughs> Another exciting thing is that IOD is has just retired a bunch of their um, transfers, mm -hmm. and I can't wait. I don't know what they are, but there's a bunch of new ones oh. that are coming out. So we should see them shortly. All of their um, their transfers and molds and everything are just so beautiful. That's having a really hard. Do you time want me to open one for you? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Do you need this one open? No. Oh, there you go. Oh, I got it. Oh, okay. So, this is what... Oh, oh my goodness. Like, you have. That big. Mm -hmm. so That's gigantic. You could put this on a piece of furniture like this. I love this one. It's my favorite, but it is retiring. And I just like to cut out different words and pieces. The same with the pictures of the beautiful flowers to just pick out, um, cut out different words and, and pieces of it. And especially when you're working on a small project like that. So I've got two pieces here that I've cut out. What do we want to do? Do we want to do a bird or a flower? Let people, who, anybody, any guesses? Anybody, bird or a flower? Bird or flower. <laughs> I like the flower. Okay. So now that many I see people it. ask to see this when they come in. How does For it sure. work exactly? Yeah. So we're so thankful, Lori, that you're showing everyone how to do it. And this stuff, like I even put it on little rocks and stones and mm -hmm. right. So I just decide where I want to put it. We have a couple for bird and then a couple for flower. <laughs> I'm sorry, guys. We're going flower. <laughs> so you just lay it down where you want it. If you're unsure, you've got a bigger piece. You could just put a little bit of tape on there to hold it on, but I'm just gonna go with it. And what you wanna do is just rub it on. Could you do this on glass? Yeah, you did it yeah, on glass. Yeah, you can do it on glass. Yeah. Now when you're doing it on a painted surface, the thing to remember is wax is always last. Do not put oh. a transfer or a stamp or something oh, on wax. Okay. Because our wax is such a great repeller that it's going to try mm -hmm. and push the product back off. Right. So it's a key thing to remember. Do all your painting, get it how you like it. So here's a question. Let's say you have a dresser at home already and it's painted with something else. You don't even know what it's painted, but you want it out of flower. Could you just put it over it? Um, I would do a little test section somewhere, but yeah, yeah right? Okay. 
Would you rough it up a, a, a little bit at all? Or? Um, so here at The Passionate Home, we like to do things outside the box sometimes. <laughs> we do. <laughs> I didn't count as much. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so the key with that is, right, it's, so I'm just pulling it back a bit, seeing where it's not stuck down, pushing back down, and just continuing on. So it doesn't matter if it breaks a little bit, you just... Yeah, it's pretty seamless once it yeah, goes on. Yeah, once it's yeah. on, it's seamless. Yeah. So I'll show you what I did. I did these beautiful bags. Oh, yeah. Oh, God. I made one for everyone in the store. I'll just say they're not sticking on there very well. <laughs> it doesn't matter. It's still beautiful and we still all use our bags, right? So I'm just looking for a better thing to um, top coat this with. But So that's the thing. You could... If you had a piece of furniture at home that already had something on it, you didn't know what it was, if you're pretty sure it's not waxed, you could get some of our matte lacquer and add a layer of that over top and seal it and then add your transfer. Oh, good idea. Mm -hmm. Right? We have a few questions. Sure. Uh, do you have any of these transfers in French print? Is there any with a French print on them? We we'll check up. into that and we'll get back to you. Uh, Maggie asks, will this work on walls? Yes, I've done it on walls. It's beautiful. <laughs> uh, if you use it on glass, can it be removed later? Yes, it can be with a um, razor. A razor. Right. But if you do put it on glass, you need to know that it's there's no way to really seal that. So um, you'd have to be careful washing it, right? So you could just sort of wipe it clean, but it's not gonna be an extremely durable surface. Okay. So I finished putting this on. Then you wanna go over it with your fingers, make sure they're clean, not like mine, <laughs> and just burnish it down in, and that's just really pressing it down into all the ridges. <laughs> Oh my goodness. It's so beautiful already. So that's already. beautiful. Yeah, I love how you went around the corner of the, the piece, right? right? Yeah. Because you're gonna be, if yes. you hang this on your wall, right. you're gonna be seeing that as well. Beautiful. So, so I love to layer up and I am a fan of words. I know a lot of people aren't. That's why creating is so fun. <laughs> you can do what you love and it doesn't have to be what somebody else loves. So I'm just going to add another one over top. Oh, I love that. You are amazing. I love I this. Hope, right? I love this. This is all about layering, right? Maybe we shouldn't open today. We should just all make yeah. it. Yeah. <laughs> right? And did you see how fast she did that? She's not measuring. She's just putting it down. Mm -hmm. This isn't about mm -hmm. perfection. This is going to be old world looking. Right. Right. Oh my gosh. <laughs> oh my goodness. That's so gorgeous. So if you want to make it look a little more aged, you can come in with some sandpaper and just blend your edges a little bit. So will you be feeling that, Lori, afterwards? Yes, we will. Yeah. <laughs> so now I've done my my stamps and my transfer, okay? Uh -huh. I'm gonna put this one aside and move on to another one that I've been working on. This one, I've already done a little bit of the IOD um, clay mold. We're gonna be adding another little bit here. Oh, can, uh, can we show close up the last one? Yes. Um, oops, sorry. Gorgeous. My timeline. Gorgeous, you got it's 10 minutes. minutes right now, but. Okay, I'll go super fast. <laughs> so this is the molds, correct? Yes. So you just take a little bit of your air dry clay. Um, you want to press it down in. Oh, I've got too many different the key to this is cleaning up after each pro part of your project. <laughs> so you want to press that down strongly into your, um, into your, into mold. your mold. And then take a little spatula. And you want to pull it 
Oh, is that what makes it flat? Mm -hmm. I made it and it was all wobbly oh, because right. I used my finger. Right? No, oh, you need a flat surface yeah. to just really. Oh, like yeah. when you're sanding, if you use your finger, that's not so good. You've got to use that's the flat right. surface. The flat. Right? Yeah. Yeah. And these are great. They've got a little ledge all the way around. Nice. So some tricks for working with this, um, the air dry clay is you can put a little bit of um, cornstarch into it to start so that it's not so sticky in there. Or you can actually, if you're having a hard time getting your piece out, just stick it in the freezer for two minutes. It will get a little more oh. solid and it'll just pop right. out. Oh, good idea. But to get it out, you just press with your thumb from the back and you gently Pull oh, it yeah. <laughs> What's gonna come out? Yeah. And so pretty. Oh. That. Oh, sorry, I've got shaky hands. Either not enough coffee or too much. <laughs> <laughs> That's incredible. Yeah. So then take your um while it is wet, people, you want to stick this onto your piece. Oh. So I am going to take some. I'm mixing together a little bit of my graphite and cocoa to make the darker gray color. Oh, you're gonna paint it first? Yeah, paint it first. You don't want it to dry and then try and put it onto a flat piece or a curved piece. If you oh, paint, so you're gonna it, paint it and then and glue oh, it, that, it's uh, going to look I did it like the wrong way. Yeah. That's why I was struggling. We're like, how do you get the edges? How do you get the edges? Yeah. Oh, that's good. So we're just... I'm worried about your ink. The tricks are awesome. Everybody's saying good morning. Yeah. They're loving this. They're loving the Friday lives. Okay, I've learned That's so great. much. So have video. I. Actually, we should be giving away a prize. Yeah, Listen well, up, people. We're going to give away a prize. Yes. Um, so we were going to give away. Let's give away one of Lori's beautiful tiles. Mm -hmm. And the way you enter to win this week is to, in the comments, please, Note if you have learned what you learned today that you didn't already know. Right. Um, and then you will automatically be entered and we will announce the winner next week. Yeah. Yeah. So I like to use well bond glue. This stuff goes on everything. <laughs> <laughs> so if I was doing this at home, I would let this paint dry a little bit so when I'm touching it, I'm not disturbing it. So that it's right, right like mid yeah. mid dry. I'm going to just... Um, could you blow dry it? or would Yeah, that definitely you could. The, okay. No, you definitely could blow dry it. So this is going to be a bit messy. I'm taking my little birdie poo, and I haven't done a very good job, right? Like, I haven't got the edges very well, but I'll go back and get that later. I am just going See, to... See, I didn't know you glued it on wet like that. So I would yeah. let it set up a little bit, a little but bit you more. still want yeah. it to be malleable. Yeah, right. right? right. How long would it take to dry? Like if you're working oh. on this at home. To be a complete dry? No, I'm sorry, your little bird. Like, My little like, bird? Mm -hmm. I'd leave it like 10 minutes. Oh, okay. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. okay. But th like, it's just a little soft for me to be working with. So it would yeah. be nicer if it was a bit drier. Well bond glue, new hack, says Cheryl. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, right? <laughs> they so, love that we're all learning here in the uh -huh. store. That's beautiful. Yeah. So... I've just applied it there. So it's wet. I'm gonna show you the next part of it with this dry one on top. Or actually, no, look at me. Can you do it in two minutes? <laughs> Run your shirt on time. Okay, <laughs> yeah. So here's my next. I'm gonna go. Sorry, I'm this glue. I'm gonna take a different brush. Chip brushes are amazing. We sell them here at the store. They are just a very thin brush. You can dry brush with them. Watch this, people. Oh. Just adding your layers in over top. So I'm not pressing down. I'm just going lightly over the top. Oh. Like a dry brush, yes. Yeah, a dry brush. And this looks, I want it to look old and antiquing. So I'm, um, oop, that's maybe a bit too much, but not really. Lori, would you do a video of this again that we could like tape and then put maybe on our YouTube channel? Right. Yes, because I've got because, so many different things that I want to show you. Yeah, but I think people are watching now are like, holy crap, I actually want to 
to do this, right? right. And they may want to stop and go with you, you know what I mean? So that's with paint on it. The next thing I would do would clear wax the whole piece and then come in and that's going to seal it and then come in with a little bit of dark wax. And that is Lori, good. Mark has learned that you are a rock star, but he already knew that already. Yeah, right? <laughs> so thank you for playing with me. I have so much more I want to show you, but I got to get out. <laughs> <laughs> awesome, Lori. So I think what we'll do is have Lori do a video that we can, you know, uh, be a little more detailed. Yeah, right? there's lots and to learn. We'll, because this is something that we're going to want to share with you more on a regular basis. Mm -hmm. And then we should talk about, oh, first of all, an entry to win for next week. We kind of covered yeah, it. Yeah, we did. If you weren't here. What did you learn? Type it in the comments and you'll be entered to win for next week. Yeah, and then you'll win one of Lori's beautiful plaques. Yeah, and talking about next week. Um, we may go on a field trip. I'm hoping. Fingers crossed. <laughs> I have been renoing uh, my kitchen and uh, the cupboard fronts have arrived and we are going to be painting them with chalk paint. Yeah. So, um, we get to sneak a peek in Carrie's house, I hope. Maybe. Kitchen oh. cabinets, ah, kitchen maybe. Cabinet. So kitchen cabinet painting with Annie Sloan chalk mm. paint is our next week topic. Yeah. Um, so you won't want to miss that. No. So for now, thank you so much for joining us. Thank you so much, Lori. Thank you, Lori. And um, stay safe. Have a great day and create a beautiful life. Bye. Bye. Bye.